Claus. This is so exciting. I love being uptown in front of all the action. One of the great things, and I think a Christmas gift to everybody, is that Charlotte has not stopped growing. There's construction going on. Everybody's out buying Christmas gifts. Tell me all the wonderful things people can experience while they're here. Oh, it is a dynamic place. Yes. Uptown is wonderful. And to be right here in Romare Bearden yeah. Park in the thick of it is terrific. So there are so many things to do yeah. and see here. Lots of great live music, all this wonderful last minute shopping that's so unique. You can find anything you want for anyone on your list up here. I love the fresh air aspect of it. This is like a European market. Yes. And that's Obviously, I think we all resonate with that because of our heritage, for heaven's sake. Well, and because we all love Christmas. Yes. Who doesn't love the holidays and getting yes. together with friends yes. and enjoying the atmosphere? I understand that they have incredible strudel. Wow. Every fruit variety you can think of and yes. cheese, it's delicious. Carry some around and eat it in this yes. wonderful atmosphere and then take some home. The taste is great. It's all part of the holiday. We're going to have to taste some strudel, Mrs. Claws. Let's do it. <laughs> I think it'll be great. <laughs> I love the looks of this village as you walk through with the garland. It just yeah. feels so great. But you know, it'd be great. Tell me how this all started. How did it, how would the idea come from? Well, you know, these markets have been around in Europe for hundreds of years. Uh -huh. And they started popping up in the United States about 20 years ago. Chicago has a lovely Christmas village that's been around that long. Philadelphia also has a really nice village. And we saw that a few years ago and thought, Charlotte would be a great place to introduce the concept. So here we are, lots of good support from the county and the city and you know it's the and, first and year to keep growing yeah. yes and the good thing is you and your husband have done this together so yes. Mr. and Mrs. Claus have worked hard yes. for putting this great event together <laughs> and I can just tell people are loving it oh I think so too Ooh. and you know what else we love coming to work every day yeah. this is yeah. it's as much fun to be out here doing this yeah. for and with these people I, I just can't I'm blessed the two of you obviously love Christmas I mean, you're, you're, you're putting it on display here in Charlotte, right uptown. So it's so obvious that you have a passion for this. It's an event, but you have a passion for it. I can tell Mrs. Claus. So I'm sure Mr. Claus does as well. But it wasn't always that way for you, was it? Well, you know, uh, Christmas was sad for a while. Um, I, I, I lost my dad when I was uh, at a young age. And so when I met Dina, and especially when we had a family, um, she was kind of instrumental in making Christmas really special again. And so um, really thankful for that. So lots of great memories with our kids. And, and yeah, we love Christmas and we want to share it with as many people as possible. All day long, every day. Yeah. All year long. This could be a year long thing. Christmas never ends. <laughs> not when your name is Claus. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> Wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all the cast and crew at Life in the Carolinas.